Saturday, March 24th, 1984. Shermer High School, Shermer, Illinois. Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. And what we did was wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. What do you care? When you see us as you want to see us. congratulate you for being on time. Yeah. Is this Mr. Schneebly? We're having a little emergency here. Uh, how long is the job? My guess is as much as a few weeks, but we do need somebody to start immediately. Mm-hmm. So how much are we talking here? We pay our substitutes six fifty a week. Now, do you know when Mr. Schneebly will be back? Hold on a sec. I got a question. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? Read between the lines, Theo. I'm gonna form my own band, and we are gonna start a revolution, okay? And you're gonna be a funny little footnote on my epic ass. All right, look, here's the deal. I've got a hangover. What do you say we close that door? We can't have any kind of party with Vernon checking us out every few seconds. Give up. Just quit. Because in this life, you can't win. Yeah, you can try. But in the end, you're just going to lose big time because the world is run by the man. And there used to be a way to stick it to the man. It was called rock and roll. But guess what? Oh, no. The man ruined that, too, with a little thing called MTV! Why is that door closed? Why is that door closed? I think a screw fell out of it. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. Putting on a great show is the most important thing you can do. One great rock show can change the world. What's going on? Where is everyone? Uh, auditions are over. What? Who's in charge? Listen, you can't leave. You haven't heard our band. Sorry, the bill's full. We're already overbooked. No, no, no. Let us just play one song. We're all here. We're ready to go. Who are they? They're my band. Kids? Was it some kind of gimmick? No, it's not a gimmick. I know they're kids, but they're awesome. Just listen. Look, thanks for coming down, but you're really not what we're looking for. You listen to me. These kids have worked their little fingers to the bone just to play one song for you, so you just sit down, shut up, and listen. What did you want to be when you were young? When I was a kid, I wanted to be John Lennon. Carl, don't be a goof. I'm trying to make a serious point here. Carl, I've been teaching for 22 years. And each year, these kids get more and more arrogant. Oh, bullshit, man. Come on, Vern. The kids haven't changed. You have. <sighs> Listen, Vern, if you were 16, what would you think of you, huh? Hey, Carl. You think I give one rat's ass what these kids think of me? Yes, I do. We're on the bill. Yes! Cut it out! Now, this is the thought that wakes me up in the middle of the night. That when I get older, these kids are going to take care of me. I wouldn't count on it. And we shall teach rock and roll to the world. There's no way you can stop. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're the School of Rock, and this song was written by our own Zach Mooneyham. <laughs> 